Hi, I'm Michael Ann Volterra, and I'm the author of Rise Above the Money Fog, the key to confidence, clarity, and control over your life. I have been a money coach for 25 years working with women on how to transform their relationship to money. Money coaches look at both the practical and the emotional side of money, everything from how do we really effectively manage our cash flow in a way that works better for us to why do we feel the way we feel around money and how do we feel better? So I wrote this book for women because the number one thing I hear when they call me is they say, I'm tired of not feeling in control of my money. I'm tired of not feeling empowered around finances. I know from my many years of being a coach that the top thing that blocks us from feeling in control of our money is the money fog. So this book has four parts. And in part one, I look at what is the money fog? There's a great quiz to help you look at for you, what is your level of fog? In essence, money fog are the, the feelings we feel as a result of being vague around money. It's when we feel fear, overwhelm, guilt, which by the way is F-O-G, that's fog, uh, when we feel fear, overwhelm, or guilt as a result of not being clear about the flow of money in our life, when we feel stress and anxiety from not being clear about our money. So there's a great quiz for you because it's very personal. We all have a different level of money fog. And then part two looks at, well, what happens in our life as a result of this fog? And there's, there's a lot of surprising things in this part of the book. You know, for example, when we're not clear what we can afford, we may overspend, which that, that's not terribly surprising to people, but sometimes we underspend. We don't take care of ourselves enough and spend enough money on self-care, for example. When you can't answer the question, how much is enough, then sometimes we will over earn. And that may sound odd, but you may have heard the term, the golden handcuffs. Some people are afraid to leave a well-paying job because they don't know how much is enough. So they, they keep in this job they may not like anymore. Other people, if they can't answer how much is enough, they may under earn. And that is when we're in this habit of underselling ourselves and not making enough money. Also, when we're in a money fog, the dream machine shuts down. We can't vision and see the future and step into possibility. And so, th you know, this is a great thing for all of us to explore because just like when we're in a car driving in a fog, we drive very slowly. We're afraid of hitting something. When we're in a money fog, we drive very slowly in our life and we don't vision the future. Part three of the book looks at where does the money fog come from? And yes, a lot of it does originate in our childhood. And so this part looks at a lot of the psychology of money and helps you identify for you what might be some of your childhood money money patterns. And you'll, you'll find this part very interesting. And then part four looks at what are the ingredients needed to rise above the money fog? So this book, I made it short. It's only about 100 pages, so you don't have to spend weeks and weeks reading How to Rise Above the Money Fog. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy it. You can order it on this page. You can order whatever works for you, um, digital copy or a hard copy, physical copy. And more than anything, I wish for you peace around your relationship to money. So again, my name is Michael Ann Volterra. And I am the author of Rise Above the Money Fog, the key to confidence, clarity, and control over your life.